Jewels in the Sea, Southern California Marine Life. A related eolid is Hermesenda crassicornis, perhaps one of the most beautiful of all California sea slugs. Again, on its back are the beautiful gold and orange colored serrata filled with stinging cells. Fidiana hiltoni has maroon rhino uh, serrata and uh, exaggerated white cephalic tentacles. Dendronotus alba feeds on this colony of tiny bryozoans. Each little triangle is a single animal. Lamacia cockerelli has long orange-tipped dorsal papillae. It was named in 1905 to honor Theodore Cockerell, the world's expert on bees from Colorado. Similar coloration is found on Catalina triopha, or the clown nudibranch. Notice the lamellated or layered rhinophores. Presumably this design increases the surface area and makes for increased sensitivity. Keeping on the orange theme, these persimmon-looking sea slugs are busy laying a coiled ribbon of thousands of eggs. This is Engel's Brithella. During El Nino events, this pelagic red crab invades our waters by the millions from Mexico. It is about two inches long and swims freely in deep water. Climbing on a kelp stalk near the surface is the southern kelp crab. A three-quarter inch long coonstripe shrimp hides in a dark crevice. It would take a lot of these animals to make a meal. Another visitor from Mexican waters is this Guadalupe cardinal fish, related to tropical species found on coral reefs. This is a six inch long CO turbot. Like all flatfish, the juvenile fish starts with an eye on each side. As the fish matures, both eyes migrate to either the right or left side, dependent on the species. This is a right-sided flatfish.